course record as well. One here in September over Move On Up, whose trainer, Gay Kellaway, said she certainly couldn't be backing as those two lock horns once again. Q20 boy, as admittedly, has got that good course record, decent chance on these terms, and from stall number three, has got a pretty decent draw as well. Now, the grey is coming next, just working through these and seeing how many of them are grey. Just the one. So that is move on up. Number nine, who's just coming in front of us. Trainer told, probably told you all you needed to know earlier. Hasn't been seen since early November. Popped up to win over course and distance in an apprentice handicap on near enough this date last year. But blew the start at Lingfield when last seen. A number of these can be, can be pretty poor from the start. A couple of others have just joined in. This is eight, right in front of us. This is Monsieur Fantasy with Holly Doyle and Archie Watson looking for a quick double. The draw's horrible, but the horse was backed earlier. Um, can be a bit slow as well from the start, so really does need to be on his metal from this draw. Um, but the claims on form and ability are, are more obvious, and as mentioned, was backed earlier. The sole success of the career came in what was this race two years ago and generally runs a, a strong contest around here. So coming back to Chelmsford on this very day, even from that draw, hopefully for Monsieur Fantasy supporters will be a, a good thing. We'll find out in a few moments.
Yeah, we'll see. Um, unlikely, though. Thanks, Angus. And um, it's, it's competitive. It's not going to be the strongest race ever run. Of course it's not. But at the same time, there are one or two horses in here that might, might just appeal that little bit more. Funnily enough, um, I liked four, Fernico, who does come off a long break. Now... If she's tuned up, I thought she could represent a bit of each way value. Yes, she's a long-standing maiden, but cross off the horses that have won in this race, and there are quite a few that haven't. But her track record when she comes here, which is infrequent, is not bad. And she's not got a terrible draw either. And the draw is the fascinating thing with Monsieur Fantasy, who is just there, just at the, the bottom of the picture as you see it for Holly Doyle and Archie Watson. They seek a quick double. The, the break for one that can break that little bit tardily on occasion is, is going to be all key, given how big the field is. And, of course, six furlongs being the trip. The last to go forward is Alia's Gold Award. Here we go. 13 of them over the six furlong trip. And they're off. Move on up was a little slow out. Monsieur Fantasy rousted from the outside stall as due date jumps well and has the early lead. So due date amongst those prominent with Bring Home the Bacon, Monsieur Fantasy pressing forward from that wide out gate <coughs> in company with Seeking Perfection. Tillsworth Turf tracks them with Alia's Gold Award settled in midfield. Kangaroo midfield on the fence, just ahead of Fernico, Blue with the White Star. Then Universal Grace Q20 Boy with Stable Companion, View from the Stars. Hard Solution is a little outpaced with the slow starting move on up there towards the back. So Seeking Perfection from Monsieur Fantasy who's got one off the rail in second place. Due date on the inside of Bring Home the Bacon who's ridden. Then Alia's Gold Award. Fernico just trapped on heels there as they turn in with Tillsworth Turf. Universal Grace peeled towards the outside is Q20 Boy. It's Monsieur Fantasy who's taken over with two furlongs to run. Due date in the yellow sleeves comes after the leader. Angling out is Fernico in third place. Right down the outside Q20 Boy is trying to stay on from well back. Due date for Billy Garrity joins Monsieur Fantasy. Then still down the outside Q20 Boy and a view from the stars has also got a nice split. Due date battling on. View from the stars continues to close due date just may have lasted it's close due date with the closing view from the stars monsieur fantasy q20 boy and fernico yeah another close finish on the nights and competitive looking classified race good finish over on the far side due date under billy garrity for trainer charlie wallace has done what's needed to win this view from the stars who looked a little outpaced maybe in the early stages or certainly sat in rear in the early stages one of the mark usher runners finishing with a rattle to take second but it is due date who's won six to one returned sp it was seven to one earlier and has broken the maiden at the 14th lifetime attempt the last five runs all here you can make that six now and for one that had been running okay here was in position a to challenge monsieur fantasy who by this point had probably done enough to get across from that wide draw, stuck about and run a good race. View from the stars with that head in the air has finished strongly enough. And stable mate Q20 boy, ditto that comment as well. The Mark Usher horses finishing on the front end. But I think they went hard enough. A few of these were taken out of their comfort zones early doors, even at this level. Due date with loads of course form has finally had his day. It was his day today. It's off the mark.